Welcome to the Ego Geeks Podcast. And uh, we've always encouraged everybody out there and teachers and students to make their own videos. And uh, this last week we got sent a video that really just was amazing. Yeah, Garrett Ferguson's class in the Northeast made a video about monarchs and it's their first video and it's awesome. So check it out. Check it. of Mexico in a monarch butterfly sanctuary, witnessing the arrival of the monarch butterflies. Look how many there are! They have migrated as far as Canada. Let's go learn about their life cycles. Which comes first, the egg or the monarch butterfly? We'll start with the monarch butterfly. During the adult stage, the male and female butterfly mate. You can tell the male apart from the female because, because the male has a black dot on its wing. The female butterfly flies off to a fresh milkweed plant and lays its egg there. The milkweed is its essential food for a monarch caterpillar. The milkweed makes the butterfly and caterpillar taste bad. The female dies in peace. The egg that the female lit, that the female butterfly laid will be the caterpillar's first meal and then it starts to eat milky. The monarch caterpillar will get bigger and sheds its exoskeleton four times during its instar stage. Hello again. After two weeks, a monarch caterpillar is about two inches and ready to form a chrysalis. It climbs up a branch and makes a silk button. Then the caterpillar grabs onto its butt and forms a J. After several hours, the skin splits open, starting at the head. Let's see it in action. The butterfly is in the chrysalis for approximately two weeks. At the end of this stage, the chrysalis turns black and you can see the butterfly part. Oh, hi you guys again. After another two weeks, the chrysalis is black and you can see its wings. A baby monarch butterfly is about to be born. Shh, let's watch. Remember, never stop exploring your world. Thank you. 